Alrighty. Our final speaker of the evening is Kelly Philpice in her speech, CPR Basics. Kelly? Imagine you're walking down the street when a middle-aged man stops, clutches his chest, and then collapses in front of you. A group of bystanders begin to form around him, but no one knows what to do. Is he having a heart attack? Should we call an ambulance? As a lifeguard certified by the American Red Cross, I felt that it was extremely important for me to learn more about CPR and how to perform during an emergency outside of the swimming pool. Quick show of hands, how many people in here in this room feel as though they could perform CPR right here, right now? Say approximately 40. According to the American Health Administration, they conducted a study that said 70% of individuals feel as though they are unable to assist and that they are uninformed and unprepared during a cardiac emergency, whereas only 30% of individuals feel as though they could perform CPR. This being said, another study conducted by the American Heart Association concluded that 88% of cardiac arrests occur in the home where the immediate care from family members is necessary. Today, I would like to talk about what CPR is, the signs and symptoms of cardiac arrest, and lastly, how to perform CPR. So let's begin with what CPR is. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation is an emergency life-saving procedure performed on individuals when their heartbeat and breathing has stopped. Cardiac arrest in the United States is currently the leading cause of death. And within four to five minutes without CPR, a cardiac arrest victim's uh, brain damage and death can occur. The purpose of CPR is to keep vital organs alive within the body while maintaining a constant flow of blood and oxygen to all the vital organs. If CPR is performed on an individual, their survival rate is doubled. The but the National Center for Biotechnology Information says that less than 50% of cardiac arrest victims receive CPR from a bystander. Now that you know what CPR is, let's take a look at the signs and symptoms of cardiac arrest. Cardiac arrest is an abnormality with your heart's ventricle system, otherwise known as an arrhythmia, which is the leading cause of death in the United States, excuse me. Cardiac arrest symptoms include no pulse, chest pain, sudden collapse, loss of consciousness, and no breathing. Recognizing a cardiac emergency is one of the most important steps in order to save someone's life. So now that you know what the signs and symptoms of cardiac arrest are, let's take a look at how to perform CPR. If you're ever in a cardiac emergency, forget about Dr. Meredith Gray from Gray's Anatomy, and just remember Dr. ABC, an acronym to help you remember how to perform CPR. It begins with danger. Check your surroundings for any danger to either you or the victim. If there are no dangers present, go up and see if your victim is responsive. You can do this by tapping your victim on the shoulder and asking loudly and clearly, are you okay? If the victim does not respond, you should check to see if the victim's airway is open. You can do this by tilting the victim's head backwards and pushing the chin up. If the victim's airway is not obstructed, you should check to see if your victim is breathing. You can do this by placing your ear next to your victim's mouth and looking to see if the chest clearly rises and falls. If your victim is not breathing, you should contact emergency personnel and begin compressions. You can perform compressions by putting one hand over the other, placing it over the center of the victim's chest, and pushing down approximately two inches with the heel of your hand. You should give your victim 30 compressions and then two rescue breaths. You can give your victim rescue breaths by kneeling beside the victim, tilting the victim's head backwards and pushing the chin up, pinching the victim's nose with your hand and forming a seal around the victim's mouth and bl blow in for one second to see the chest clearly rise and fall. You should repeat giving your victim compressions and breaths until emergency personnel arrive or the scene becomes unsafe. With this information, you should be better prepared to take on a cardiac emergency by knowing what CPR is, 
the signs and symptoms of cardiac arrest, and lastly, how to perform life-sustaining CPR. For more information, visit AmericanRedCross.org. Also, if you're interested in trying out your newly acquired CPR skills, HeartRescueNow.com is an online interactive website which allows you to go through a CPR stimulation to see how you would react in a certain situation. Thank you.